Okay class, listen up. If you're looking to start the school year with a new laptop, now is the perfect time to buy. All the major companies have just released their latest and greatest, and the designs and the specs are a big improvement over what you would have gotten just a year ago. Whether you're on a budget or you're able to splurge, we've found notebooks that will fit your price range and that you can depend on for years to come. Netbooks are a great idea for students for a few reasons. One, they're pretty inexpensive. Most of them cost less than $400. And they also weigh less than three pounds, so they're light enough that you can pack inside your backpack and not weigh down your shoulders all day long. Most students will not want one as their primary notebook, but they do excel at a few different things. You can use them to update your Facebook status, do research online, and even take notes in class. We reviewed a lot of netbooks, and of all of them, our favorite right now remains the Toshiba NB305, which costs $379. Now, most of the reasons we like it are design-focused, because really, most netbooks nowadays have pretty identical specs. So, what we're looking at here is a netbook that has this really interesting um, matte lid. It has a texture here, and it also makes it pretty durable. So that's one thing we like for students. On the inside, it has this beautiful metal keyboard, and it just isn't just beautiful, but it's actually one of the most comfortable we've tested. So if you're going to be taking notes or even writing papers, this is one of the best keyboards you can find. And ditto for the large touchpad and the, com and the comfortable touch buttons to go with it. And you can even plug in a gadget into one of the USB ports and let it charge while the netbook is sleeping. Finally, this netbook has a 3D accelerometer, so if you drop it, it'll park the hard drive before it hits the ground, so it'll protect your, the drive and your data that goes along with it. It used to be that we defined a budget notebook as anything that costs under $1,000, but nowadays that's changed. Nowadays, a budget notebook is anything that costs $600 or less. Because really, for $600, you can find as powerful a notebook as you'll need in your student life. For instance, we reviewed this HP G62T, which for $599 has a Core i3 processor, 4 gigs of RAM, and a 500 gigabyte hard drive that runs at 7200 rotations per minute, which is fast for a hard drive, and that's going to affect everything from startup time to launching applications to doing more intensive things like movie editing, if that's what you're into. Um, in addition to the power, we really like the design on this notebook. That's one of the things that made it earn our editor's choice. So you have this durable matte finish, and ours is a taupey color, but you can get it in black and a silvery color, too. The touchpad is very comfortable, so is the keyboard. And overall, we thought that the minimal design um, actually made it look more expensive than it is. You won't find any extraneous buttons, nothing distracting up here, just a really powerful set of Altec Lansing speakers subtly embedded above the keyboard, and just overall a very understated, sophisticated design and plenty of power for the price. Once you get past those budget notebooks, you'll see some really neat features starting to trickle down into laptops. For one, there's, there's discrete graphics, which gives you a nice performance boost in everything from gaming to photo editing. In particular, in particular you'll see Intel's wireless display technology, which makes it really easy to beam 720p video to an HDTV. Really, you just need the help of a set-top box, which um, comes included often in many packages, um, especially those sold at Best Buy. So, the Inspiron 14R, which we have here, is our top pick for this price category of um, under $800. And it will soon be offered with Intel's wireless display technology. It's not quite yet. But in the meantime, we really like its design and its performance. You'll see it has this brushed metal palm rest here. Um, comes in bright colors. The um, hinge sort of extends out and gives it more of a stylistic um, edge. But it also makes it easy to carry because the hinge juts out. The keyboard is comfortable, and in terms of power, you'll find that it has discrete ATI graphics, a Core i3 processor, 4 gigs of RAM, and a large 500 gigabyte hard drive. Once you get past the $800 mark in shopping for notebooks, you'll start seeing some really premium features offered. For instance, some will have NVIDIA's Optimus technology, which automatically switches between a discrete graphics card and an integrated one, depending on the intensity of whatever graphical task you're doing, whether it's games or something lighter and that will affect battery life versus performance. Our favorite notebook in this price range is the HP DB5T, which is a Core i3 processor, four gigs of RAM, and a 500 gigabyte hard drive running at 7200 RPM. And it also has a Blu-ray drive packed in there, so you can watch HD movies on the 14.5 inch display. In addition to the specs, we're big fans of the, des of the design. So if you look closely, there's a pattern overlaid. It looks, from far away, it looks like a matte finish, but it actually has a subtle sheen to it we really like. 
The touchpad here has integrated touch buttons and the keyboard is also really comfortable to use. So you'll enjoy typing out papers on this one. Once you get past that $1,000 mark, specs are really just the beginning and you shouldn't have to compromise. At this price range, the MacBook Pro 13 is our favorite notebook. It starts at $1,199 and really it's a pleaser for everyone. Because it's 13 inches, it's large enough that you can comfortably watch movies on it. And as you can see, the display is bright and very high resolution. It's excellent for watching movies. So it's great for that, but it's also small enough that you can comfortably take it to class and it won't weigh down your backpack too much. We're big fans of really everything on this notebook, starting with the design. It has Apple's signature now, seamless unibody aluminum design, complete with a very comfortable keyboard with a soft finish, a large glass multi-touch trackpad um, that has integrated touch buttons, um, really just one actually. And the battery life lasts almost, it lasts almost eight hours on a charge, so it's really great for keeping around campus. At the same time, the graphics are powerful enough to satisfy most quick gamers and people who do artistic things like edit photos or video. Really, this offers the fewest compromises out of any of the notebooks here, so if you can afford it, we highly recommend the MacBook. That's been our walkthrough of our favorite five back-to-school notebooks by price. For reviews of these systems and other great back-to-school notebooks, go to laptopmag.com and be sure to check out our coverage of back-to-school accessories while you're there.